All right, guys, today I'm going to tell you three things that have helped me improve exponentially in my self-improvement journey. And the first thing is stop overthinking. Now, this is a big issue for me in the beginning because I was very frugal with my money and I hated spending $20 on something. Like, actually, besides gas and food, I was not spending money on anything when I came out of high school. But I had to realize that you have to spend money on some things if you want to be better in business, if you want to be better as a person, or if you just want to look better, take care of your skin, things like that, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. And you got to be able to take risk. And overthinking really slowed me down from that. Even when starting a YouTube channel, I was very nervous to see what people would think. Uh, My camera was much worse. My equipment was, I mean, I just had a camera and that's about it. And honestly, what's up guys? Today, I want to tell you three things that have helped me be more successful in my self-improvement and that have helped me win more in life. And don't mind my voice. I'm coming off being a little bit sick. And without further ado, let's get right to it. The first one is stop overthinking. Now, for me, this was a big issue for me. Starting YouTube was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do because I was always overthinking, like, what would people think? My phone was like an iPhone 6 or iPhone 5. And I really just didn't have, you know, the the stuff to really make my videos look that good. But, you know, at the end of the day, I started it anyway. My early content was pretty bad, but you have to be bad at something to, you know, improve on it. Like, you're going to be bad at everything you do. And when overthinking and other things, like maybe making some sort of investment, I would say study something for like a week, do your research, assess the pros and cons of it. Look at the best case scenario and the worst case scenario of doing what sort of investment that you're trying to do. And after the end of that week, make the decision. Like for me, uh, upgrading my equipment is a big thing I'm starting to do and investing. So when I'm upgrading my equipment, I'm getting a new mic. I'm getting an iPad and a new camera or actual camera. And I'm going to, you know, spread it out. I'm doing my research and I'm making sure I pick the best, most affordable ones, looking at reviews. Just being real analytical about things, right? And when investing, I would say investing is very risky. And I think people should, or at least me right now at this point, I'm playing everything safe. Um, I actually started investing on Acorn a little bit, just five every week. And if you guys want a $5 discount, check the link down below and you guys get on Acorn and get $5 invested right there just from clicking that link. It's up to you guys. And it's just one of them things that will help pay off in the long run. So even while I'm doing stuff that's going to benefit me now, I also like to have little things on the side that will, you know, making small sacrifices now that's going to benefit me down the line. And that's one thing that I did. I just did my research for a week. And I said, you know what? I'm hopping on. And if I influence anyone else to hop on and benefit your lives, then, you know, perfectly fine. But it's up to you guys. But just remember... You know, don't overthink things. Uh, Put a set deadline where you're going to make the decision to if you're going to do it or not, and then do it or don't do it. All right, guys. So this next one is don't fear judgment. Now, this can go in two two different ways. So the first is people just hating or people who say stuff behind your back in a way. Like, don't even let that impact you because at the end of the day, that's from them. That's something wrong with them if they're going to tell other people that you're doing something wrong, but they're not going to come to you as a real friend. So, and the other way is people coming to you with judgment saying, oh, you're not doing this properly. Oh, you can upgrade this. Oh, you can benefit this. Um, don't be afraid to hear that judgment. You know, it's going to be a little bit harsh. You know, don't take it personal though. It's just business. And it's one of the things they're trying to help you out. They're trying to benefit you. So be open to criticisms and judgment as long as it's presented in a friendly manner. Like, if people just telling you you suck or you're bad in some sort of way without being specific, then that's just hating. But if you have friends telling you, oh, maybe you should do this a little different, maybe you should, you know, not do what you're doing or you're wasting time doing something else, then be open to hearing that and be open to changing your philosophies. Because you have to remember, you know, people have different viewpoints. And if you want to be subjective about it, you could probably see yourself doing something wrong. If you just let go of that ego, if that makes sense. But don't fear judgment. Um, Take the positive criticism and adjust accordingly. Number three is if you're going to do something, make sure that you're going to stay consistent. 
Now, this goes for a lot of things. This goes for a lot of people that I've seen in my life that they would say they're going to do something, right? And they never start, or if they do start, they go hard for like a week or two, and then they're never seen again. And it's one of the things, like, consistency is key for being successful in anything. If you're consistent, plus taking criticism and feedback the right way, then you're going to see results or you're going to get better. You just have to be patient and make sure you're putting in the hours. You don't build a good physique off just going hard for a month and then, you know, you're going to have it. It takes time. It takes years. It takes dedication. And you got to really want it. So I would say make sure that you stay consistent and stay patient. Things aren't going to come quickly. Me personally, I just I expect things to come as slow as possible. And I just fall in love with the grind. And that's the best way to do it in terms of building a physique, building a business, building whatever you want to do and be successful in it. Consistency, discipline, and patience, and being there for the long run, not for the little short spurts, right? And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and comment down below what you want to see next. Or comment down below if you guys want a specific video about you. I might, you know, try to take things I see in the comments and try to transform, transfer it to some sort of video to help you guys out. And don't mind my voice. I'm a little nasally right now. I'm getting better. Next time you guys see me, I'm going to be crystal clear.